On behalf of TVLesson.com, my name is Cavallo. I'm a Capoeira instructor with Capoeira Makulele in Miami. Let's talk a little bit about the musical aspect of Capoeira. Um, capoeira is actually the only martial art that's trained or sparred to live music. Um, there's various different instruments we use in, in Capoeira while we're, while we're sparring or training. And uh, the most important one of them being the, the Birimbao, which is the, the one stringed instrument that most people relate to Capoeira right off the bat when they see it. Um, also, we use a tabaki, which is a drum, uh, the pandeiro, which is a tambourine, and the agogo, which is a, it's pretty much a wooden bell, bell-like instrument. Um, and when you combine all the instruments together, that's, that's, that's pretty much the, the bateria, we call. Um, that being pretty much all the instruments that we use while, while, while we are training or sparring. And they're, they play a very major role in capoeira. Like I said, it, it, it's pretty much what, what distinguishes the instruments and the music is what distinguishes itself from any other martial art. Um, it's the only, also the only South American martial art of origin, capoeira. And it's, I believe it's, it's, really, it's really important and it's the heart of capoeira. Um, without the instruments, the, I mean, a lot of people would, would probably confuse it with a, just a regular oriental type martial art. The reason why the instruments are used in capoeira was, why they began being used was to pretty much be part of that disguise that the, the slaves had to use in, 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 in the beginning, okay, when, when they would disguise um, capoeira in a dance and use all the fluid motions around like dancing movements, the musical instruments pretty much added to that effect, to that camouflage of them training a deadly martial art. On behalf of TVLesson.com, my name is Cavallo, and thank you for watching.